Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Today we've got Mr. Daniel Allison of Constriction Addiction for you and he's going to be showing off some of the ball python projects that he's known for. Also before we get into the interview, this weekend we're doing a virtual reptile show. People are going to be showing up, my buddy Garrett from uh, Reach Out Reptiles, I believe Dave Coffin is going to be there, I'm going to be there in a virtual room, reptilestream.com. The world's first virtual reptile show, it's only $5 to get you and your entire family in for three hours of coming and checking out all the different vendors. Everybody's gonna be live streaming. You'll be able to interact with all of the vendors via chat. Do me a favor, go down to the link in the description, check it out, see if you like it. Join us for what's gonna be either the biggest win or failure in reptile virtual history. <laughs> We're gonna find out, only one way to find out, but let's get into this interview. You're watching Triple B TV. So what's new, man? Uh, new? Yeah. Well, the, that microphone. This microphone. That microphone is like brand new. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first little recording actually we've been doing with it. Uh, That's awesome. This particular set of interviews. Yeah. Yeah. The mic's brand new. Uh, I've got a brand new baby. You know, yeah. well, not brand new. She's a year and a half old now. Right. So it's not brand brand new. That's your first one. She's number three. Really. I got a six-year-old, a four-year-old, one and a half. Okay. Year old, so right. you don't had your training wheels on that. Yep. 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 And, uh, it's just it's good but what's new with you is really what we need to talk about yeah uh man everything um just working non-stop you know i say that about every time i'm doing a podcast or a video but you know it's it's what it takes to to do this and, and be successful at it it's it's a long road you yeah. know this stuff doesn't happen overnight and um how long has this been full-time for you Oh man, um, I made a go at it uh, probably ten years ago, and I went for about three years and just realized that I wasn't where I needed to be to be full time. And I uh, took a job, uh, took about three years off, went worked full time for a company. I was traveling all over the world, and um, you know my dad passed away, and it kind of gave me a woke up call. And I was working crazy long hours for this other company, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do what I love. I'm going to give it another go. So I put in my two weeks notice and I come home and man, here I am. You know, I'm thankful to be doing this as long as I have and very appreciative to, to be fortunate enough to do this. Even, even as tough as this business is, you know, still very thankful to be, to be a part of it and be able to support my family with it. And so I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Well, like you said, it probably takes a lot of hard work. I mean, dude, <laughs> I'm, yeah. It's I think I think doing anything well and doing something like like you do, mine mine's very different of course like I it's not the working with the snakes that that helps me it's doing the the videos and that, that type of thing which is right uh, I'm fortunate for me doing this because I know how much work, I can only imagine how much work it is to make it work with just animals it's it, it it's it's very challenging okay um, you know with there's so many aspects to being a ball python breeder or making this full time. Uh, the investment side of it, you know, uh, of wanting to what to invest in, developing these projects, you know, uh, the years that it takes to develop a project, um, and then the marketing, social media side aspect of it, also the rodent side, and then there's the animal side. The animal side is, you know, um, the genetics and what looks good with what and what to pair and the biology of what makes these things tick and you know the husbandry obviously the freedom breeder guys and 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 everybody has made the husbandry um a lot more advanced from 10 years ago which has made the workload a lot better for us um but it still definitely uh it still definitely takes a lot of man hours and and a lot of dedication you know, there's nobody to tell you to get up out of bed. Hey, you got to be at work at eight o'clock. You know, it's got a, it's a lot of self-discipline and you just got to push yourself to that next level. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just working day and night, trying to, trying to get to that next level. Cool, so. man. Well, let's, let's talk a little about these animals you got here. Sure. Yeah. I just brought over the, uh, these are the two projects I think that CA is probably known best for one being the Skellis. The Skellis project is you know, something that's been, when I talk about developing projects, something that's been a long, long road for us. And I think it's, you know, 
coming to a fruition very soon. Um, you know, I, I think that a lot, we're going to put that last rumor to rest fairly quickly. And uh, I think it's a project that everyone's going to love. This girl right here has been the talk of the show. Uh, everyone has just wanted to see her picture with her. Um, and I, I really think that the, the Skelos project still has a lot of life left into it. And the other would be the, our line of uh, Ultra Mail, the Ultra Glow stuff that we're producing. Um, it's another project that, that so is just... Ultra Glow is, is Ultra Mail Hypo? That is correct. It is Ultra Mail Hypo. Um, I've seen a lot of Ultra Glows. I've seen a lot of Ultra Mails out there. Um, they don't tend to look like mine. I don't know if it is attributed to... Um, a black back gene that we have identified as with, uh, wither that's in our, our ultra male stuff or if it's um, you know something to do with the fact that I never outcrossed the original male that I got from Noah early on um, I always for years looked for other ultra males to add to my collection but they just never were the quality that I had at home so I decided to just work continue to work with my line and so far it's paid off for whatever reason we still have yet to identify why my ultra males are you know a, a grade above the the stuff that's out there on the market but i'm you know i'm i'm happy to have them sure. you know obviously uh so the ultra glow stuff you know i've got a lot coming out in that project um so it's obviously ultra glow pinstripe that's black pastel pin oh, ultra black glow pastel too. that's a sibling to the one that you uh miguel's the ones that you saw at miguel's place right. That's the sibling to those. And you remember those as babies. They're just electric orange. They're yeah. crazy. And this crazy is still orange. has a crazy amount of orange. Yes, it does. It does. But the babies. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. babies. They're definitely glowing. <laughs> the babies. Yeah. So, um, you know, they stole the show here in March. I think they were the, the, the big talk of March. And um, we just, I, I've always loved my Ultra Male stuff. So I'm, I'm happy to continue to work with that and, and also the Skelos Project. And to jump back, what you were saying about scales a few minutes ago, is you're talking about having a uh, gravid female on eggs. Is that the rumor that you're talking about? Or um, Yeah, well, everyone wants to, wants to see the, the last female on eggs. You know, that's the last rumor to put the best in the, put to bed in this project. Um, we're very close on that. Um, I've already seen follicle development in females. And, um, you know, I can't wait to put it to rest. I think it's going to change things for the Skelos Project because these animals are just absolutely incredible. Um, everybody loves them. I don't know, you know, I don't know why the misconception and the rumors and the things that we have dealt with for so many years about this project. Um, but I'll be glad when it's all over. Um, and, and I've seen people come and go with this project, and, and I think I'm kind of one of the few that stuck with it and continued on with it um but i'm it i just love them man they're there's i mean you can feel them i mean they're just yeah. they're incredible they feel like they're something very close to home <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're is that the ghi no this is actually mystic okay okay this is just a simple mystic um you know i've i've I'm not having crazy killer odds on my on my skeleton stuff you know I've missed several times on you know pod clown I did hit the clown last year uh, it was kink so I had to put it down broke my heart you hit a scaleless clown yeah and pastel scaleless clown what? How did yeah. I missed that yeah uh, I posted a picture of the clown on my Instagram in the egg and I said I put a comment I, I put if people only knew what they were looking at and it was just the head but it was so cool dude it was so cool. I was upset that I didn't get to. Uh, I see her. I see her. She's a trip, man. I love this girl. I love her. She uh, she never misses a meal. She don't have one single scale on her. Now, some of them will actually uh, come out with 20% scales. Some will come out with 5% scales. And then some of them will come out completely scaleless. Uh, and this girl just happens to be one of those that are completely scaleless. And she is just absolutely phenomenal. Nice, so man. she's been the talk of the show for sure. Look at her go, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, but no, I'm excited, man. I'm excited about the future. You know, this is the greatest show in the world for reptiles. You know, the biggest show. We get to come hang out with you guys and the rest of the crew. Uh, it's, a, it's a good time. Yeah, man. Well, thanks for coming sitting down with me, dude. I appreciate yeah, it. About time, we, about time we made this happen. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Daniel, for sitting down with me. Just a reminder, folks, link down in the description. I hope to see some of you guys at the Virtual Reptile Show this weekend. 
Uh, it's 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Saturday, May 2nd. Next week, we've got Mr. Tom Harbin coming on, and he's going to be sharing some of his beautiful snakes with us. Until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. Yeah, that thing is insanely dark. It is. Uh, it's insanely orange. Is you know, it's hatchling. It's it's crazy orange. Crazy, crazy orange. These are just the two projects that I'm really known the most for: the Ultra Glow and um, the Ultra Glow and the Scalus. So we're gonna do a little triple B here with Cusco. Is that Tom Marino? What was that? Tom Mariah? Tom Marino. Oh, I thought I said Tom Mariah. I swear it looks like Tom Marino. There he is, just like magic. Just like magic. Oh, what this sounds a lot different. This might testing, 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 one, two, three, <laughs> testing. <laughs> oh man, how I, are we? I'm doing we're doing great. Howdy folks, 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 howdy folks. Oh, I snapped below the camera, you couldn't see it, but you could hear it, right? Right, right? Yeah, good. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Dallas. Next week, we've got Mr. Tom Harbin on, and he's going to be showing off a, some. And uh, until next week. <laughs>